Hey everybody, so yesterday I released a video on how to add Stimulus.js to our Adonis project and would you know, Javon from Basecamp chimed in and offered some feedback. So that is really cool. Javon, if you're listening, thank you very much for taking the time to do that. Uh, let this be a lesson to everybody. Read the documentation more carefully than what I did. I completely missed the data API that he was referring to. And uh, in looking at, at that a little more closely, I also realized that I missed some, uh, some crucial in ingredients to our gulp uh, task. So let's start with that. Let's uh, fix up our gulp build pro uh, process there. And then we'll revisit what we did with, uh, with stimulus in our application. And then we'll change things around to be a little bit better uh, the way he suggested. So looking at the handbook, if you go to uh, number six here, installing it into your application, if you go to the using other build systems, uh, what I did miss was using the transform class properties plugin. So there's a link to it right here. I'll just open that up. This is on the Babel site. So what we'll want to do is save uh, the plugin just like this. So this is the full name Babel, Babel plugin transform class properties. I'm going to copy that. Let's open up our project and run npm install. Actually, I just paste that in. What am I doing? There we go. Paste that in. And then in our, our gulp file, in our custom JS task right here, we'll just go to our presets object. We have to add another property here for plugins. And this will be an array. And what we have to put here is transform class properties, just like that. So I'm just going to copy that, paste that in. The next thing I'd like to do is make our class, our controller here, a little more reusable. So I set it up to just work with categories. I named everything uh, and it just makes it look like we're using it to delete categories. But I can see that we're going to need the same functionality to delete posts and maybe tags or anything else we use. So maybe now's a good time to make it a little more generic. So I'm going to change this just to list item. And the suggestion that uh, Javon had was to put the controller not on the wrapping div for the whole list, but rather on each individual item. And that will allow us to use the stimulus data API to easily grab the ID for each item. And he says, you know, it's no problem having a controller on each item, no matter, you know, how many items you have. And I don't suppose we'll have too many, but uh, it makes the code a little bit nicer and I'm all for that. So I'll grab this. I'm going to rename my file now, of course, because right now it's called categories. Let's rename that. And right here in the controller code, Let's change this to a list item controller. And instead of delete category, let's just call this destroy item. And we'll go back to our app.js. And instead of categories and categories here, we'll call this list item. And I'll change this to list item as well, list item controller. So now in our categories list, I'm going to move the controller from the wrapping div and I'm going to move it inside of our loop and put it right on the uh, the li tag. And of course, this is no longer called categories. It's called list item. List item just like that. And I have to change it down here as well in my click handler because I can't reference the categories uh, controller anymore. List item, delete category. This is now destroy item. Now, how do we actually grab the uh, category ID? Well, we'll use the uh, data API. And what I can do here is I can use data. And then the next uh, part of this uh, attribute should be the name of my controller. So list item, just like that. Oh, I need my hyphen in there. And then the the identifier that I want for the actual data here. So I'll just make this an ID and I fill this out much like I did before with my curly braces and I will add the current category ID as the value here. Now the cool thing is how I can access this in the controller. So let's go to our controller and the way we access this is not by getting an attribute like that, but we can do const, uh, let's see, item ID I'll call it. And we can use this data get ID, just like that. I mean, that's cool. I wish I had seen that before. So the reason why this works is because I 
prefix the ID identifier here with the name of my controller. So when I call data.get, Stimulus knows that it, it is reaching for this right here. And then of course I'll get my category ID, right, like that. Now in Javon's example, he uses a getter right here. So we can use item ID here. And um, let's see, and then we can just return this data get ID just like so. Hope if I spelled that right. So now I can just reference here. Let's log it out for now. Don't need that. Uh, this is the ID, and we can reference this item ID, and we'll just log out what's being returned with data dot get. So I'm going to comment that out right now because I don't want to delete it just yet. And I will have to restart Gulp because of course I changed all these file names. Okay, I'll refresh that, good. So we've got a single item here. When I click this now, we should log out the ID, which is 15, excellent. Let's add another one just to make sure that's working. Yeah, whatever, click that. There, 16, 15, 16, perfect. So that's, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Javon. That's much, much better. I like it a lot more. So I'm gonna remove that, uncomment this. Now, of course, also we can't just reference categories here. I, I wanna make this a little more generic. So why don't we use our data API to handle this as well? So I'll go here and I'll just create a data list item once again, and maybe we'll just change this to path. And I'll set this to categories. So now I can reference this path in my code. So let's grab our URL. And I'll do this. And I'll do that. And I'll do this. And I'll do that. And this dot item ID. And here will be this dot path. And I can set that up right down here. Get path equals return this data dot get. And what are we grabbing? We're getting path. So let's try this, see if it works. Refresh this, and hopefully this deletes. It's gone, it's gone, what do you know? It works. So that's pretty cool. Thanks again, Javon, for chiming in and sharing that. I'm really enjoying Stimulus, and guys, spend some time with it, because this is a very cool little tool, and uh, it, so far it's making my life a lot easier. Guys, thank you for watching this and putting up with my redo here and my mistakes. Hopefully we all learned something. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, write any comments, questions down below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future updates and fixes just like this one. See you next time.